Uh, welcome back everyone to Madman Craft. As you can see, I'm actually on my tutorial world. Now, I'm on my tutorial world due to my Brocado server. Uh, can't connect to it. Not sure why. I'm guessing it's either down or something along those lines. So what I thought I would do is bring you another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be a automated wheat farm. Now, let's start off. So first of all, we will need some dirt. Grab that, not that I need 64, we'll do it. Uh, we need redstone, we need redstone repeaters, we need sticky pistons, and I think that should be right for now. We will need seeds and that at the end, but we'll do that. Actually, what we'll do is we'll grab stone. Now, the reason we're going to grab stone just so we can get an idea of it oh, and we need a water bucket, and probably an empty water bucket as well, just to help things along. So, what I'll do is I'll build it along here, I think is a good place. So Basically what we're going to do is we'll start off with a hoe, we'll use diamond because it's, that's creative mode, or tutorial mode. So what we need to do is we're going to do this, now that should be one, now what we need to do is we need to dig down here, okay, so that one, now we need to knock all this out, now the reason we need to knock all this out is we need to put water in it, now what I needed to do is I actually need to, what we'll do is we'll dig, That's so I know where the end is. There we go. Okay, so that is the end there. Now, that's one down. What we need to do next is we need to just put dirt back here. So we can go like this. Oh. Okay, like this. Now the reason we're doing this is we're going to run water down here. Now I actually have a little cheat for this too that worked. I don't know if other people use it or not. What we're going to do is we're going to run water down here. It'll run down, down into there. So what we can do is we can go there. This will be the next one. Okay, now I only build one level. Now I feel that complete opposite rain. God, I'm good. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so for this way. Not sure why I did build it the wrong way, but we did. Okay, so we go along here. Now the water should travel eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go one more. We can we can adjust that, that's why we've got the empty bucket. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to fall down here again and we need to knock these two out. We're gonna replace this obviously. It should have worked out where we need to go. Oh fly, there we go. We'll go there. It almost might be done. Look at that, it is done. Alright, so we'll just do two levels for now. I think that should be enough. Okay, and we need... Actually, that should be right there. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to put water in here. So we might need to go closer to get it to actual go down. No, oh, so we're going to have to go closer. That one there that one there. Now that'll roll down in there. But what we need to do is we just need to put, put these back. Alright, look at that. So that's that done. So we'll fly out of there. Now will the water go all the way down here is the question. Look at that. So what we can do is we can block that off. We all know this will be the start of it. And we know that's the second level. Now you can actually put another brick right there. I think that should... No, that's going to stop the water, okay. So, there, sorry. Oh, oh there, there. Okay, good. Okay, that's set. Now, this is your this is your start of your design. So, the water's there. That's what you want. Alright, so what we need to do is... Oh, we'll give you a bit of a rundown on how this works. Let's just make sure that water's still going. Okay, it's all good. Why is it all going that way? Let's have a look and see... The main thing is as long as we're getting water down there, that's all that matters. So that's the start. So what we're going to do is, we're going to just put a little, little thing along the side here. Now you can design it however you want. Um, if you actually watch my Mad Craft that I do, it's a Let's Play series, you'll actually see I've got two levels, same as this, but it runs in, it actually has three sets of it across. It's just something you use to you know, it gives you 
a nice amount of um, wheat. You can use it for whatever you want purposes. So that's that done. What we need to do up here is we need to go one more high. Now th what this does is this is where the water will run down. Actually, do you know what? We don't really need it there, so we'll get rid of that. We'll just go from here. Yeah, you know, we don't need you. Now, this is this is a very basic design, but it works. Now, what you do is I go down here like this, and we put sticky piston, sticky piston, brick, brick. Okay, you knock these out. You now you need a little bit extra room here, so. I always go two out, that way if anything goes wrong you've got a little bit of a safety net. So what we'll do is we'll go like this. Now, what do we want to do here? We might actually, we can put that there like that, and we'll put a lever on. So we'll grab a lever, oops, wrong one, that one. And why not put the lever like so. Alright, I like that. Okay, so now what we do now is we put redstone all the way along here. Now you will need a couple of repeaters for this. So a repeater. And then we go redstone again. And probably, you know what, I'll throw a repeater there just because I like to make sure they're all nice and tidy. And we go across, and then we just use two more redstone repeaters here and here. And we just connect them like that. Now we go flick the switch, and they will, the pistons will come up. And they'll be in the set position that you want them to stay at. See? Just like that. Alright? Nice and easy so far. So what now we do is we actually put, we need a crouch, and we want, oh, we don't need a crouch, you can just go like this. We need you there like this. And then we go around here like this. Yeah, you like that, that's okay. And we need to get two buckets of water. And we just go one in each side. Now, you don't have to go two in each one in each side, that that's just me. Okay, now that that's that's the design. Now what we need to do is flick a switch, the water should run, and it only runs to there. And this is where we come into a little bit of a problem. It's not a massive problem. All you do is you, you just manipulate it a little bit, so you knock them out. We will actually block this off now, like this. And that's that. Why is that like that? There we are. So that'll go to the end there nicely. Now, what we will notice is there's probably no more water running down here, so we'll just let that stop by flicking that switch. You can see what it does. So we have no more water down here now. That's not a massive problem. What we'll do is we'll just make it have its own little water pro like this. So you can do that. If if you're wanting to work it out specifically, you can do that as well. I'm I'm not really a person that does that. I just make it how it looks good. And make it efficient. Okay, so we wanna get over there. We're gonna put that there. Oh, what I also do if if that's if this is the case and you and you and you end up going this way to make it just a little bit more nice, you just throw another one there, another one there, and then what you do is you jump over here, and in the middle there'll be a dip, you fill that dip up and you'll see the water goes smooth, just to make it me being me. Now you can do that for up here as well, so what we'll do is we'll knock him out, and we'll go one on the side here, one on the side here, we'll jump up, and one on the side there, and that should all, no it didn't do it. There we go. So that that just adds it to me being me makes it look a bit nicer. Okay, so what we need is we don't need a lever anymore. We don't need an empty bucket. We don't need a bucket of water. We we'll do maybe do some stone. I might do some work around it just so you can have a look. What we do need is seeds. So we go seeds. So I just use this is just a wheat. Look, you can probably use for pumpkins and watermelons on it. I don't exactly know how they work, so we won't worry too much about them. So what we need to do is we need to make this all ready to go. These two, that's alright. Okay, and then we get the hoe out again. Now don't worry about that gap, I'll show you that gap in a second. Don't worry too much about it, it's more of a... Oh, that's where I've been walking. I've noticed in 
Minecraft 1.6. I don't know if it's just this update that they've done. You walk, it's just walking on them. They seem to have problems. I don't know. I don't know why. And it can't be because it's not water. Because it's water underneath, as you've seen me put it down. Okay, so that's that done. Now we need to get rid of this sheep in here. Let's um, we need a sword because I know you can't really kill them without them. Now do this without hitting the redstone because otherwise, if you hit the redstone now, all the water that you've just put in there will be gone. Let's go away. So, oh, wrong way. Sorry, guys. Got to be turned around then. So you just go down here like this. You, this. And, and and the way you do this, you just build this into a room. That's all I did in my um Madcraft Let's Play. Just built this into a room, so you can't actually see this this side. The wall comes up here, and I just brought the switch around, which I really want to do now, but I don't. And what I might do is I might put another lever down, and let's just hope this doesn't do what I'm thinking it's going to do. So I put another switch there. Flick it. If I knock. Oh, I didn't do it. Good. That's good. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring that out, bring that out. We want redstone coming there, there. So it's already there. And then we want you there, you there. And I think, actually, we want to get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Go there, not there. There, up here. Now I'm only doing this because I like it better, and that's that's just me. Okay, let's flick a switch there. I can destroy you. Oh no! And it happened, but that's okay. We knew it was probably gonna happen. Well, I did anyway. All right, so let's just. Now this works inside as well, guys. You can actually have this wheat farm inside. Mine's inside. It's actually in my house. <laughs> I know that doesn't seem right thinking something will grow inside, especially without light, but Minecraft doesn't need light, so we're good. This is this. Like this. There we go. Now, that looks terrible, so we're going to change it. And the reason we're going to change it is because I did it wrong. So if we put this here. Mm, we're going to lose it again. That's okay. Now, that's where I wanted to switch. Like that, so we can knock you out. Flick the switch again. I'll go get all this stuff. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm doing this, guys. I'm just trying to make it look a bit better for you guys. Give you an idea about more about what you really would build, not what it just you think it would look like. Um, this is this is how I use it at my house. Um, if you've watched my series, you'll see that. So let's just shut this guy up. Nothing worse than that slime sound. But love the slime they give you. Make a lot of fun contraptions with it. Get out of it. Where are you? And you come back. Okay, so as you can see, it looks a lot different than what it did look like. That that's it there. That's the wheat farm. What you do is just to cover this up and make it look pretty. Uh, you just put this here. Another row down here. Yeah, there's only one block you can't really cover with this, but that's okay because what you're doing is, like I said, this part here you just put it into a wall. No one can see it. So what we'll do is we'll block it down here like this. And then what we'll do is we'll just go over the top. And you can make a nice design if you have it this way. You make it look like that and then what you can do is you can just build it up like this again. And it'll just make it look pretty. And, and you know, I don't know, not everyone's into doing that. People like just having redstone. On my Let's Play, I have no redstone showing at all. It's all hidden away. It just makes it look tidier. And that's what I like. And that's me. You don't have to do it. It's totally your preference. So that's this. Now what we'll do is we'll go down here to make it look even. Now you could just build this into a wall, into a floor, anywhere it will work. 
Now what you do is you'd obviously make that side look like that. Thing. So what you can do is you just across there. If you're doing it out now, I'm only doing that to make it look like that. Oh, one more. There we go. So you'd have it looking like that, and and that's all you need. I think that looks pretty cool. You can have another switch on this side and do more, or you can just wire the whole lot together. I might even do that. Not so much in this let's play, like this tutorial. Sorry, not let's play. Let's get rid of some of this stuff, and what we might do is we'll get bone meal. Now the reason we want bone meal is I'm actually going to grow it and show you. And then what I'm going to do is I might show you another option that I've I've started to use, and it's just something a little bit more fancy. Uses a bit more resources, but a little bit more fancy. Just gives it a little bit more of an edge, you know, over other wheat farms. And it just involves using some hoppers. So that's... Let's make it worth our while. Okay. That's our setup. Look at it. Oh, our wheat's growing. Now we need to get the wheat. Bam. We flick it. Here it all comes. And you get your seeds and that. Now, what you do is you wait till it comes all the way to the end down here. So it'll come down. As you can see, it's coming. And then you just flick the switch and it disappears. Now, I don't know why that's all disappearing. Oh, no. I'm picking it up. I was picking it up from back there. Jeez. So... There we go, so we flick it, ready, off, it's done, you get your hoe, you don't even need your hoe again, you just get this, and you go plant it again, I usually just run around like this and do it, probably a lot more easier, but um, we'll work that out, um, won't be set. Okay guys, sorry about that, I'm back, that was just my dinner arriving, oops, we will fix that, oh, I don't like this, why does it do it? There we go. So it's all set up again. Now, what I do have on my other server... Um, sorry, let's play. Oh, wrong one. Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. What you can do... Actually, I will need to do it on this one. Is just to... You just put one block there, one block there. Now, you knock this out. Now, obviously, it looks a bit different, but this will do just for the tutorial. Okay, so what we did on that one was we had a chest. And hoppers. Where are the hoppers? Alright, so what we do is we just have a chest here. Well, actually, you don't even need a chest here. You can have a chest wherever you like. So what we might do is we might have a... Over here. Underneath this switch, just to make it look a little bit better. So what we'll do is we need to can actually get rid of all... No, not that one. I need that one. Okay, so what we need to do is we just go chest... Ch oh. That looks terrible. So we go chest, chest. Actually, I wonder if we can. You know what? We, nah, we'll just go chest, chest there, and then we'll put all nice grass back around it because we're fancy here, like I said. Now you can build this into a wall, however you want. Um, we're going to get rid of all this again, like that. Okay. Alright, so that's that done. Now what you want to do with the hoppers is, you want to get a hopper, hold hold shift, pop it on there, hold shift again, hit pop it on there, like that, and then what will happen is, we'll get the bone meal, and we'll go through all this, like, like so. I'll do the whole lot again, just to give you an idea. Oh, that didn't work, but we can just fix it now, we'll cheat. I wish it was still one one bone meal per one. That was so much cheaper than what it would do now. What it is now, like that. Grow. All right, that's done. All right. So we have two hoppers here like this. Yeah, this is an automated collective service. Sorry, I just hit the microphone, guys. So what we do is we flick a switch. It'll all come rolling down, as you can see. Now it all disappears. Now why it's disappearing? It's disappearing into the hoppers. And as you can see, it's going into here. Now I have this set up. Um, all I have is a switch, chest underneath, flick it, everything rolls down, and it goes all into there. As you can see, there's your wheat collected, and your seeds, and everything like that. So you get out of that, you flick the switch. Now you might see there's still seeds going in there. So they're all done. There we go, guys. I think we'll leave it there. That is your... um. Oops, I flicked the switch. Oops. 
that's your automated one, 40, 26, that's, that's not bad, um, I hope you enjoy, leave a like if this was helpful, um, you know, subscribe to my channel, I'm going, always doing tutorials, as you can see, I just did another one the other day regarding a mob spawner, um, slash XP farm, I might turn that into an XP farm for someone one day, just to show how it's done, and, and that's it guys, um, Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I've got a good Let's Play going. It's called Mad Minecraft. It's on the Brocardo server. Check it out. Thanks, guys.